Bonjour à tous, je suis de retour pour une autre réaction de l'Eurovision 2021, et cette fois, c'est la France. Yes, guys, I'm back and we're reacting to the third song for Eurovision 2021 in Rotterdam. Tonight, France selected and Barbara Pravi won with the song Voila. I've only heard a very short clip of this, so looking forward to watching the full performance and letting you guys know what I think. Now, France riding on a wave. Um, there's been lots of kind of hype about this song, so I'm really excited excited to watch it but we have to shout out to Valentina as well who won Junior Eurovision just a few months ago. Can't wait to go to France for the contest this year but anyway guys before we go on make sure you subscribe to the Eurovox channel, hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our videos, give the video a thumbs up and a share but let's not waste any time guys let's watch Barbara Pravi vi uh, voila and I'll let you know what I think. Écoutez-moi. Moi, la chanteuse à demi. Parlez de moi. Wow, instantly that kind of soft, really simple start to the song. De cette fille aux yeux noirs. Moi, ce que je veux, c'est écrire des histoires. Loving the spotlight, just shining on her. A little bit of smoke. Voilà, voilà, voilà qui je suis. Me voilà, même si. Mise à nu, j'ai peur. That voice is stunning. Oh, beautiful strings coming in, guys. Goosebump effect. It's just so simple and stunning. I love the lighting on the stage. It's like it's just her and there's no audience. But it's got this really subtle build, which I really like. You can hear like these other instruments coming in now. What's going on here? Beautiful staging. Stunning. It's just totally like raw and pure. You can't take your eyes off her. It's like kind of musical theatre, but in a good way. Loving the camera work on this performance as well. And there's so much like desperation in her. Whatever this song is about, it's very emotional. It's like she's fighting to get the voice and the words out. It's amazing. I can feel it building. Getting fun. There's so many different emotions in this song. And just watch her perform. Whoa, there we go. Franz, 12 points. Loved it. You know what, guys? After hearing the clip, I maybe didn't get all the hype around this song, but now I've watched that performance, I've watched her perform and tell her story through the song. Um, it just like it just fills you with so much emotion. You can't take your eyes off her. The staging is just stunning. It's just her. It's like there's no one watching. It's everything that's in her head that she's getting out in that performance. And it's just beautiful to watch. I have to say well done to uh, the French television station on the staging of that as well. The camera work worked really well, loved the lighting. I don't really think they need to change anything for the staging. It'd be amazing to watch that in a huge arena on a big stage, but just these lights just focused on her. It'll be absolutely stunning. I mean, her voice was flawless. The song was telling a story. She was telling a story through her performance. I need to look up the English lyrics to see exactly what that song is about, but it reeks of like, you know, desperation and sadness and, um, you know, looking to, to something brighter maybe, or maybe a lost love, who knows? I'd love someone to tell me in the comments down there, but that's gonna do really well at Eurovision, I think. It's gonna stand out. People are just gonna be so overwhelmed watching 
her performance. I mean, she's beautiful. Her voice is beautiful. Um, I think that's going to be one to watch. We're only three songs in, guys. Um, but yeah, I totally get the hype over that. Can't wait to watch the performance again. And can't wait to find out what you guys think of France's song this year. So don't forget to let us know in the comments down there. Otherwise, go to our Facebook page. Give us a like there. Tweet us on Twitch and find us on Instagram. Until next time, guys. Au revoir. Thank you.